Welcome to another training session on the TIA portal. In today's session, we will learn how we can program a logic to control a continuous process. Before starting, I would request you guys to please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for more upcoming video tutorials. Firstly, we have a tank with a low level probe I0.0 and a high level probe I0.1. Next, we have two inlet actuator valves operated by the PLC outputs Q0.0 and Q0.1. These valves are used to fill the liquid in the tank. We will first pour 50 liters of the liquid from both valves A and B. We can measure the liters using the flow meters installed on each line. These flow meters output a pulse per liter of the liquid. On the PLC inputs I0.2 and I0.3. As the flow meters confirms that 50 liters of liquid fill inside the tank from both sides, the agitator runs for 50 seconds to mix these two liquids. After 50 seconds, the agitator stops and discharge valve Q0.2 opens and start to discharge the tank. As the liquid level drops below the low level probe I0.0, the drain valve Q0.2 closes and stops draining the tank. And the whole process will once again start to make a new batch of these two liquids. Next, we will go to the TIA portal software and see the ladder logic for this project. In the network one, we have a start push button I0.4 and start push button I0.5 to turn on the start process bit. M0.0. Next in the network number 2 we have a logic to open the inlet valves A and B. When the start process bit M0.0 is on and the liquid inside the tank is less than the high level sensor I0.1, it will turn on both valves Q0.0 and Q0.1 to pour the liquid inside the tank. In the network number 3 we have written the logic to measure the flow of the water. As the inlet valves opens these flow meters output pulses. We can count these pulses to measure the liquid using counters. As the 50 liters liquid flow through these flow meters M0.2 and M0.1 turns on to confirm that required 50 liters of liquid from both lines A and B is poured into the tank. And these two bit will turn off the inlet valves A and B. Next in the network number 4 we have a logic to control the agitator. When both liquids A and B poured in the tank, these bits will close and starts the agitator motor Q0.3. In parallel timer also starts with 50 seconds preset time. Once 50 seconds are over the timer will turn on the agitation done bit M0.3. And this same bit will turn off the agitator motor Q0.3. In the network number 5, we have a logic to open the discharge valve. As the agitation bit M0.3 turns on, it will turn on the discharge valve Q0.2. As the liquid level falls below the low limit probe I0.0, this bit open and turn off the discharge valve Q0.2. In the network number 6, we have a logic to restart the process and fill the tank again. As the water level falls below the low level probe by 0.0, this contact opens. And on the negative edge, the reset flow meter bit M0.5 turns on for one PLC scan cycle. This bit will reset the current values of the both counters back to zero. And this will open both inlet valve again to start filling the tank. Now let's download the program in the PLC and monitor the ladder logic. As we press the start push button I0.4, it will turn on the start process bit M0.0 to turn to start the tank filling process. As you can see that both inlet valves A and B are turned on to fill 50 liters of liquid in the tank and the tank starts to fill. As the liquid flow through the flow meters, these flow meters output pulses at I0.2 and I0.3 inputs. These pulses will get counted by these counters. Once the 50 liters of the liquid from both flow meters is measured by these counters, 
it will turn on the bits m0.1 and m0.2 and these bits have turned off the liquid A and liquid B valves output of the PLC Q0.0 and Q0.1. As the liquid from both valves is poured into the tank, it starts the agitator motor Q0.3. As the 50 seconds are over, the timer turns on the agitation done bit M0.3. And this turns on the discharge valve Q0.2. And tank is now starts to drain or discharge. As the liquid level falls less than the low level limit, it closes the discharge valve. And on the falling edge of the low level sensor I0.0 signal, it, it resets both counter to 0 liters and open both inlet valves A and B to start filling again. And the whole process will repeat itself again. So that's the end of the today's tutorial. I hope you like it. Do share, like and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for more upcoming video tutorials. Till next time, take care and goodbye.